hello guys this is dias graphics and um, welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime i release a new video so let's go straight to the tutorial so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make a email here how to make a mail here the simplest way to make a mail here so what we are having here is a rough sketch a rough sketch of and the idea of the head so I just sketch it out just is to just a fast sketch for us to have an idea of how the shape of the head is going to be so this is the particular brush I'm using to fill of the paint for the hair so you can pick any color you wish for the hair color okay, that one is your choice you can pick any color you want for the hair then after filling up make sure you fill it up neatly then you fill it after filling it up neatly make sure the edges are Are filled up neatly then you can use your eraser I call it I call it cleaner sometimes so pardon my English please I'm Nigerian please ah, pardon my English so I use my eraser to clean up some messy edges so after using your cleaner or your eraser to to clean up some messy make sure you add a new layer as you can see I've added a new layer I selected a ton a tony brush so I'm using the tony brush to like give a texture to will I see texture or detail to the edge of the the paint I, I just filled so it's going to give it a certain detail at the edge so as to look a little bit realistic so as to look like a real hair I just hope you understand what I'm trying to explain here so when you're applying the tony brush make sure you're applying it along one side like make sure the side you're applying is you are using the same side to apply throughout so that it will not look messy and make sure when you are applying it make, make sure if you are applying it to the right the like, right hand side make sure you apply it out like that and make sure if you are applying it to the left hand side make sure it's like that then after doing that you use your your eraser or cleaner use your eraser or cleaner to clean up the edges and make sure you give them give it the detail at the forehead you should give it the detail particular detail at the forehead with the eraser make sure it gives the particular detail you want any style you want you can even you can even do any style you want on the hair depends on your reference i'm just doing a rough work here so and i just hope you grab anything from it so you should reshape the hair how you want it just don't just play around with it anything you you do with it is left for you so i'm still using the tony the tony brush for the detailing so as to look uh, for it to look um, a little bit realistic so as you can see the hair at the top and the hair at the side is a little bit different um, I won't say a little bit different but you can you can see the difference the difference between the the side here and the one at the top the one at the top is much um, plenty than the one at the side the hair 
is more plenty than the one on the side then you can use this particular brush for the hair detailing make sure when you're doing the hair detailing um, it's on a new layer make sure your detailing is on a new layer and you can pause to see the brush the brush is over there then you can also select a eraser make sure it's on eraser mode then give just clean it up clean it up make sure it's looking nice clean it up just leave a little bit detail on the hair as you can see it's looking a little bit nice then go back to the edges at the top edges make sure it's, it's cleaned up I'll try to drop in the TIFF file and some people call it PSD but I call it TIFF file so it's particularly made for Autodex but you can also import it to your Photoshop if you like to see how the how um, they are arranged okay sorry I matched the layer but I can give you the TIFF file um for you to see how the work is and you can imitate or work uh, we can even play around with it i'll just drop the link below on the description box so you can access the project file so i just want to add some beards to this particular here we've just we've just done so i'm using the tony I'm using the tony brush for the beard so I'm just trying to see if I can use it for the, the beard and it seems like and it seems like it's coming out well so you can also use your tony brush for the you can also use the tony brush for your beard if you like but some people just use the fill tool or they can use their hard pencil for the hair but if you are a lazy type you can use the tony the tony brush to just do this particular beard but i don't advise you to, i i am not advising you to use the tony brush for the beard now but if, if you like you can use it but if you want to have a, a good detail of how the, your hair your hair of, um, on, or the hair like the beard if you want to get a good detail of the beard on the reference make sure you sketch it out with your hard pencil or any pencil you feel like using because this method this particular method i'm doing using using this tony brush is uh, somehow how will i call it it's somehow um, unrealistic as you can see the beard it is looking somehow unrealistic so i would have advise you to use your pencil to sketch out the beard if you aren't lazy so this is just a shortcut method for you to do the beard with the tones ton, ton brush as you can see our hair is hairstyle is afro the afro hairstyle you just need the afro hairstyle so you can use your transform tool to transform the twist you can do everything you want select it and twist and adjust the head make sure it fits the body make sure it fits the reference so i'm just playing around with it just playing around with it So up next we're going to be doing something similar to the previous one we've just done. So um, I'm going to 
use the same ref, um, reference rough sketch I've used for the present prevent them um, the sorry for the previous one so I'm using my Tony my Tony brush for this particular stuff um, I'm just um, filling it roughly and using my cleaner to shape it so we're just going to do a lesser hair than the previous one so this one this hair is going to be lesser than the previous one so this this is pretty this is pretty um all we're going to be doing today so we're going to be doing three different um hair styles and first to be um, like um, the afro the second one will be the afro lookout and the third one will be the lookout so this is pretty much uh, the entire tutorial for today so i wish you happy watching so i just hope you guys learn something from this particular tutorial so um, as i've promised you guys i'll be dropping so many tutorials so you guys should just keep in touch and if you're a new subscriber please don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button and, and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime i drop a video so as, as you can see the hair um, is pretty much um a look or looking like a low cord a full look cord so you can just 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 play around with it just adjust it how you want and everything will go cool so make sure you look at the layers i have done so I'll, i'm done with this particular one we're going next to the the next one will be the low cord the low cord so i'm going to be duplicating the second I'm going to be duplicating the, uh, as you can see, the second one. Then I'm going to turn it to a low cut. So I'm going to be using my charcoal brush to clean it up and make sure I blend it out to be. I'm using my cleaner to to reshape the forehead and everything. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks for commenting it really mean a lot to me so you can um, ask me questions on the comment box you can ask questions you can ask for a tutorial request or anything on the so as you can see we are done thanks for watching god bless you all